Hi everyone, welcome back to this video and in this video I would be giving you some information on extraneous variables. So this is related to research analysis where you come across a lot of variables and there are different variable types such as uh, independent, independent, um, dependent and also extraneous variables. So I've taken a video before this um, on dependent and independent variables so if you haven't got to see that video you can click on the link given in the description box and without any delay let's get into this video. So an extraneous variable. So the independent variables which is not directly related to the objective of a study but indirectly it affects the dependent variables then these particular variables are known as extraneous variables. So I'll give you an example. So a researcher wants to study the relationship between an employee's performance and their self-confidence. So there's a relationship between these two variables. So if you understand over here you have two variables which is performance your employees performance and which is that uh, performance is dependent and self-confidence is an independent variable so you have these two variables but later on you come to understand the or rather the researcher comes to understand that there are various other extraneous variables so apart from only self-confidence affecting the employees performance there are other variables or other causes which can be an employee's intelligence level, it can be the skills level. So all these can also be related and it can be a cause to which contributes towards the employee's performance. So those certain variables are not very evident in a research. Definitely the researcher has to take into account these other causes that might affect the objective of the research. So these type of variables, so the extraneous variables like intelligence and skill levels, these are called as extraneous variables. So there's something called as experimental error. The influence caused by the extraneous variables or variable on the dependent variable is called as the experimental error. So you would come across this term experimental error and this is what it means. So when you see when a research is study is conducted, the researcher must always, you know, um, structure the research in a manner that the influence of the extraneous variables are controlled or clearly visible. You need to identify what could be the possible extraneous variables that will affect your study. If those are not taken into account, then definitely there will be an experimental error. Because indirectly, if you take this example, you're saying that only self-confidence is a cause or it contributes to an employee's performance. But definitely there'll be other variables that would affect. I can give you an, another example. When it comes to appraisals, there might be various, um, you know, independent variables that contribute to an employee's appraisal. It can be the projects worked on it can be the amount of you know successful project completions but there can be other various variables such as biases sometimes there could be the team lead would have a particular uh, soft corner towards a particular employee and give a different uh, you know positive review or feedback of the employee so these can also be various other factors contributing to an appraisal so it's very important that you identify all these extraneous variables in your research only then it will be a really structured and it will be a fruitful research else there will be a lot of experimental errors existing in research. So if the, um, that's it for this video. If you found this video useful and helpful please do give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.